it's really important for citizens to assist with monitoring throughout the state of South Carolina because DHEC unfortunately is extremely limited in what they're able to monitor. Um, typically they only have the capacity to go out onto main waterways, so little smaller tributaries wind up often being overlooked and unmonitored, so if there's an issue in one of those which causes an eventual issue in one of the larger waterways, it can take a lot longer to find that out without the help of citizens. The adopt stream program is an integral part of the Anderson Regional Joint Water Systems approach to um, trying to get all of our citizens um, to appreciate the value of clean water and treatable water. Having all 200,000 of our citizens that, that rely on us for water as active participants in uh, protecting that resource is invaluable. So it's important to, to, to realize that what we do on our own individual properties affects downstream and affects our drinking water intake. And Adopt the Stream is a really great program to bring awareness to that because now you have people sampling creeks and they're thinking about the creek by their house, but they're also thinking about their drinking water intake. They're also thinking about where they go on the lake every weekend, where they fish every weekend. If they can help protect that source, it helps all of us. I just think it's a, it's a good educational program that also um, helps us make sure that South Carolina is beautiful and healthy. You don't need to have a scientist background to be able to participate in an Adopt-A-Stream. Um, it is science-based, but you have a team of instructors and program leaders all throughout the state and in your area, most likely, that are there to help you anytime you have a question. You have other uh, volunteers who are able to uh, help out as well. So, I mean, if you ever feel like you don't understand something or don't know, you know, what you're doing or why you're doing it, there's always people to reach out to. Again, it's a real community. And it really is about getting people reconnected to nature, getting folks outdoors, uh, getting people together that um, are like-minded in the sense of, of, of wanting to protect our, our most treasured resource, our most treasured shared resource, and that is water. I used to be an environmental educator and I would teach kindergartners through fifth graders how to do these same tests. And, um, you know, children can do it, adults can do it, anybody can learn to do it. Um, it's fairly simple, you just have to be willing to do it. Uh, you know, no animals, no plants, no humans can live without water. We need water and we need clean water in order to survive, make some progress as a community. So it's very important that the citizens work on that field and good information and having fun, enjoying the environment, going outdoors, you know, playing with all this stuff. It's very simple, it's, it's not rocket science, you don't need to be a physicist or a chemist or biologist to do that. Just any person can work in that field without any problems and providing a really good data information.